I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours it takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour, take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters, they're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always Hey everybody, it's Ian Schwartz and today I want to show you my favorite exercise is for flexibility and you need to know just two things these exercises are very rare and it will be at least super difficult to find it in the internet but if you will watch this video till the end I'm telling you, you will know this super effective exercises and in the second part of the video I will tell you how you can increase your flexibility without any movement in at least 20% without any exercises. So let's start. Now I'll show you first exercise and it is the most effective exercise I have ever done. And actually it is just kicks. <laughs> but it's really increase your flexibility. How to do it? Something like this. So, the main thing that you should not twist your spine when you do the kick, not like this. Spine should be erect, like this. And you also should not twist your knee, not like this. <laughs> uh, the leg should be straight. And also, don't do it like this. The whole leg should be straight. Before we will start, it is very important to understand that I already can do it very high. So if you have, have not uh, such flexibility, you can do it till your maximum. But first time, at least few times before you will start the exercise, at least one to three times, you don't do it till maximum. You do it just like this, just a little bit. After that, you can do till the maximum, but don't do it quick, do it slowly, not like this. <laughs> if you will do it like this, you can have problems with your legs. This is not what we want. <laughs> so that's why please use this uh, safety technique and do it very slowly. And then till maximum but slowly. So we can do at least five exercises for each leg, at least. We can do more, but the main thing that we should not do five for one leg and for example, 10 for another. This is very bad way for doing anything. Even if you have a good stretch on your right leg and bad stretch in your left leg, please don't increase amount of exercises for uh, the left leg. No way. You will achieve a balance between the legs much quicker if you will do the same amount for the right and for the left side. So let's do it. Five times for the right side and five times for the left side. If you want to do more, you also can do it obliquely, like this. So not straight, but obliquely. So it is the same, but should be balanced. The same amount for the right and for the left side.
These two techniques helped me a lot for increasing my flexibility. Before I started to doing it, I did something like this. This was my maximum. This way. Now I can do very high. And no problems. The third exercise is leg stretching. It is very important to understand that you have super big amount of muscles on your leg. And if you did kicks and some other exercises, that does not mean that you used all the muscles. Only if you will use all the muscles, you will have super good stretch. So, how to use all the muscles? I'll show. You should stand very stable and then you can up your leg and make it straight, like this. If you can up it even more, so this is super. If you will use this exercise, you will see that when you make, make your leg straight, then if you will move it a little bit, the other muscles will be used, like this. The same for the second leg. It is different muscles, so we can do at least 3-5 seconds per each leg position. Next one, in the side. And it was like this, but if we will move it a little bit, once again, it will be other group of muscles, like this. The same for the right leg. And in the last position, we will stretch our legs through the spine, like this. And for the left side. It is very important, it will be much better for you if you every time will start from the right side and then shift to the left side. It was my favorite exercises for the legs and I highly recommend you to try it because if you will do this at least one time a day, believe me, in one week time your flexibility will increase at least 20%, at least. Now is the second part of the video, so as I told you, now I will tell you how you can increase your flexibility at least 20% without any exercises. So the first thing is shower. When you take shower, all the cells in your body becomes relaxed. And when the body becomes more relaxed, then you have more flexibility. After the shower, you will have at least 10% more flexibility than before. But the main thing is that you should never use hot water and you should never use cold water. It is not the best way to improve your flexibility because it will cause damage to your health. It can. It's not that it will, but it can cause your damage. So the best temperature is a room temperature. You can use shower with a room temperature. It will be the best. The second thing is relaxation by itself. Because when you are very nervous, your body becomes like rock. A little bit more solid than enough <laughs> than it's needed and if you will be a little bit more relaxed your body will become not like rock but like water because flexibility it is about water it's not about rock <laughs> it is about water so when you are really flexible you are really relaxed and 
reverse also when you are really relaxed you are really flexible so avoid stress and then your flexibility will increase the third thing is time if you will try to do some exercise in the morning and then in the evening for example 7 a.m in the morning and 7 a.m in the evening you will see that the difference is dramatic in the morning you will be like this like rock and in the evening you will be like water so you will have much more flexibility so in the second part of the day you will every time have more flexibility because when you sleep during the night time you don't move maybe you move a little bit but actually you lay down and you sleep like a rock so when you like a rock at least six or eight hours a day then when you woke up you also like a rock a little bit so you need a time for become more flexible so during the day when you're walking when you do things when your body have uh, some activity after some time it will become more like water and less like rock so this is it in the uh, second part of the day you will have at least 30 percent more flexibility than in the first part you can check it if you use these three advantages you can increase your flexibility till 50 percent without any action just try it if the video was useful please like it maybe some comments and see you in the next video